Hey friends, it's Rita Messini here, and I'm here for my friendly Friday fireside chat. I'm going to bring you extra tips every Friday for when you go to see all the open houses that you're planning on seeing on the weekends, and hopefully some of the simplest tips are going to be the best tips for you to help get that dream home under contract. All right, the first tip that I have for you is to move fast, okay? In fact, this is one of our core compass principles to move fast. I'm gonna help, help you understand why you have to move fast, okay? The market is moving fast. There's not a lot of inventory. If you can, try to see the house even before the open houses. Get your agent to try to get you in there first. Sometimes the first offer in, for whatever reason, makes the buy, uh, seller feel uh, some sort of uh, duty to that offer. I don't know what it is psychologically, but many times sellers like to stick with the first offer that comes in, even though many times other offers come in after that that are better. So try to be the first in to see a house, try to be the first in putting an offer on the house, and that could really make a difference. The next thing is have a lender pre-approval. It's so important to make sure that your financial status is um, confirmed and that you have a pre-approval to submit with your offer because in a multiple offer situation where there are more than one offer on a property, guess what? If you don't have a pre-approval, your offer is going to go to the bottom of the pile and the seller will basically not even consider it. They'll consider all of the other offers um, that have a pre-approval. Number three, be flexible. Okay, there's so many ways that you can be flexible. Number one, obviously, with actually going to see the house, be flexible. Um, many times that'll help you get into the house sooner, all right? Be flexible with the closing date that you are requesting. Many times since um, the market is moving fast, um, the sellers might want to close more quickly. Sometimes the sellers might want to close a little bit longer. Maybe the seller needs a little bit of time to move into their other house that they're moving to. So try to be flexible and um, you know, see what works for the seller best. And if it can fit into your schedule, try to do that. Try to be flexible with your um, down payment. Many times, um, if you can afford a 20% down payment, that sounds very nice and very solid to a seller. Of course, you know, if you can only put 10 or 15% down, that's not a bad uh, down payment at all. So I'm not putting my nose up to it, but if you can be flexible with the down payment, many times a seller will like that. It's a stronger down payment. Be flexible with your earnest money. Earnest money these days is kind of a moot point, but for whatever reason, psychologically, sellers like to see a substantial amount of earnest money. And um, so that those are just a few little flexible tips. And lastly, listen to your agent. Oh my gosh, your agent is in the market all the time, every day. We know what the sales prices are of properties. We know the list to sales price ratios of, of the market averages. Um, we know the price per square foot averages. We, we know the market so well. And so, um, you know, just listen to your agent. In fact, the word agent implies and means that we're a fiduciary for you. So we have a um, ethical responsibility to make sure that your needs are met first. And so, you know, we're obligated to tell you the truth and just listen to your agent because your agent will help you get the house. They know how to negotiate. They know the other agent typically on the other side, you know, the listing agent. So listen to your agent. I hope you like those tips. As I mentioned, I'm going to be coming to you every Friday before uh, the weekend 
so that you can have a little extra edge on you know, getting that dream house under contract for you. And guess what? After the Super Bowl, I think a lot more houses are gonna be coming on the market. And so it'll be kind of exciting. Hopefully you'll get your dream home on, uh, under contract. Thanks and bye.